Hi all, my name is Vishnu Dutt and in this video we are going to discuss few of the changes which recently happened when you try to uh, uh, when you try to make your uh, virtual machine or the EVNG on GCP, right? So these steps are uh, slightly changed from my last videos. So I will be uh, just recording uh, whatever the changes are, okay? So if you have seen my previous video, it is not longer valid and there are some changes with respect to the complete process. So having said that, let's see what are those changes. So first thing first, let's go and go to the project, whatever the project you have created. Enable uh, the Compute Engine API. It is going to take some time, okay? So now you will see this page, create instance, but before doing that, let's enable uh, or activate Cloud Shell also. It is again going to take some more time. So two steps, first uh, API in, uh, enablement, and then basically we have just enabled the console. Uh, okay, so here you see the console. Now, as a first step, uh, and this step is, uh, it changed there. Previously, we were we were filling up some things uh, while doing the create instance, right? We were doing all those things and then enabling a nested virtualization. But uh, the process has been changed now, right? Uh, you need to begin with the creating Ubuntu boot disk template, and to do that, you need to run this command here on the Okay, just wait a minute. Uh, you need to run this command here. Exactly this one. Uh, okay, so do not worry. I will be uh, uh, pasting this command in the description box that I will be giving you the uh, a notepad file which contains this this command, right? Or you can just just follow or uh, follow the uh, EVNG cookbook and that is a there is a great great explanation there. I'm just following that cookbook. Okay, so having said that uh, press enter uh, It is going to take some time, but let's wait for it So as you can see that now the Ubuntu te template uh, boot this template has been created and you can see that the status is ready here so we are good with respect to this step. As a second step, it is going to be almost same, which we have, uh, which we had in our last video. Just go and create instance. Okay. So here you need to define the machine name. Let's say st van or eve ng2. The machine name is this one. Let's choose a region. And the region I'm choosing in is, let's say, Mumbai. And zone they have selected on their own. Machine type is going to be N1. And we have custom, let's say this time, 8 and 32. Here you go. And then you need to uh, change the boot disk option. And here, basically, the changes. Just go to custom images. And in custom images, uh, just go and select this one. So this is the template you just created using the command line option, right? Uh, boot disk type is going to be SSD persistent disk. And this is going to be 256 because I do not have much space. So I'm just taking 240 here. Uh, but please make sure that you have selected uh, SSD persistent disk. Select. There you go and then allow HTTP traffic. That is all you need, okay? And now the change is you do not need to enable that nested virtualization technology uh, uh, with, uh, with a switch, right? Which we uh, did in our last video. You'd simply need to create this, and that is it, okay? The remaining steps are going to be same, but for, uh, uh, but for 
on the, the continuity sake, I'm, I'm just going to uh, do all those steps once again. Okay. So uh, right now, as you can see, it is going to create my machine and then I will be doing uh, I will be doing the installation of evng on this machine but i could notice one problem here that it is saying that okay the zone this one does not have enough resources available to fulfill this request okay so basically it is saying that uh, the current zone whichever i have selected uh, doesn't have uh, the resources available so let me choose uh, something else right so again i'm going to create instance but it is not going to be a problem with with you so again uh, eve and g uh, three machine let's say this time and i am going to create this time the resources in delhi and let's say in c and here you go we are doing n1 everything is going to be same the custom uh, we are having 8 here, we are having 32 here, and in boot disk, we are going to change from balance to SSD persistent disk, and uh, custom images I am doing, in custom images nested Ubuntu focal, and it, here I am going to choose 240. Let's choose 120 this, eight this time. Okay, so select this. Now allow HTTPS and then create. Let's see what happens this time. So as you can see that uh, this machine is deployed uh, now and uh, let's go and open a browser window. Why I'm, why we are doing this? Because now we want to install uh, the EVNG here. Okay, so it is just now, it is, it, it is right now transferring SSH keys to this VM. Once it is done, I will be able to get the console access of this VM. So here you go. Now we have the console access of this VM now. Uh, so as a first step, I want to be root. So that is what I'm going to do here. sudo hyphen I. I am the root now. And the the second thing which I'm going to do is I, I want to install. First, I want to copy the EVNG uh, community version and then I want to paste, uh, I want to uh, install it here. So the command to do that is this one. And this is not uh, zero guys, this is uh, this is O, okay? And, uh, uh, and in this step, there is a change. Previously, we have repo in case of focal here, right? So uh, just pay close attention because there is a change in command. I will be uploading this file which contains all this command for your, uh, uh, for your, uh, uh, if you want to use it, uh, just do an enter. So it is going to take some time to uh, download on the EVNG community version from internet and then installing it, right? Uh, so, uh, let me take a pause here and once it is done, I will be right back. So now, as you can see, uh, the EVNG uh, machine has been installed. Now we need to update and upgrade it, okay? So to do that, uh, we have command apt update. It is not going to take much time and then we need to run uh, upgrade command. Here you go. So when prompted, press Y. And then what you need to do is uh, you need to reboot this machine. Okay, so in the meantime, uh, this machine is rebooting. Let's create uh, the firewall rules here. So if you go to, uh, if you go to VPC. Okay. 
and firewall you need to create two rules here right uh, and why we are creating rule i have explained this in in the previous video right so eve ingress uh, it is here you go and then this is good this is good this is all instances in the network ipv4 and then you need to allow for everybody slash 24 and allow all just do a create we are good here and then create a rule for egress also so we are done with e ingress rule create one more rule which is your e egress do everything is fine direction is going to be egress then target all instances in this network again the same thing slash 24 here you go allow all and then create perfect this is good uh, we are good here so in the meantime our machine is also it should have been rebooted now and i have this uh, both the rules here so let's go to instances and let's open the machine again okay so it is again transferring ssh keys into the vm okay just wait for some minutes so here you go do not type the root password here instead just press control c and then first become root here so sudo minus hi now you need to give the root password so let's say the password is okay you type any password then i am pretty okay with the name let's do the name of my company bridge why because we bridge why dot com okay uh, DSCP perfectly fine and uh, time.google.com okay I want direct connection perfect so the machine got rebooted once it is going to come up we should be able to access it okay so I'm closing this and let's wait for some time uh, once this machine comes up I will be back So here you go, you just need to click on this link and oh, it, it was pretty fast. So one thing again to remember, you do not need to give password, whatever you have set in, in, in the previous step here, right? That password is only for uh, doing the SSH into this EVNG machine. For UI, we are going to use the default password. So the username is admin and the password is Eve. E V E. Just do a sign in and here you go. Right? So although there are some changes in in, in uh, the steps which we were following in our last video, but these challenges are these, these changes are not that um, uh, not that uh, what we can say. Those are easy changes. Uh, if I if I may say so uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, but but do watch my previous video also where uh, where I have explained why we are cre creating these firewall rules right how to create the project how to enable that uh, 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 console access right so everything is there in this video but uh, uh, unfortunately uh, EVNG has changed some of its uh, 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 some of its uh, Ubuntu machine type and that is why we are seeing uh, the command changes right. Follow these simple steps and you will be good enough. So thank you once again uh, for watching this video. Uh, bye for now.